Beading is always fashionable, today on Beads, Baubles, and Jewels. I'm joined by Doreen Stevens of Fire Mountain Gems and Beads. And, you know, Doreen, for years, I've seen cloisonne items uh, in antique stores or in my grandmother's jewelry box. Can you explain to me exactly what the cloisonne process is? Sure. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it is. They're really <laughs> lovely. Cloisonne is a, is a, a process that was begun in about 1800 BC, thought mm -hmm. to believe, uh, believed to be invented in Egypt. And it's a process by which a vessel or a bead or an object of mm -hmm. art starts with a brass base. And we'll go through the steps here. Okay. It starts with a brass base. And this is soldered together and formed. Now, this could be a bead or anything. Okay. At that point, the cloisonne cells are, as in the second example, cloisonne, cloisonne cells are flat wires, and they're created with hand tools and soldered on in the shape of flowers and so forth, uh, flowers, leaves, petals, uh -huh. butterflies, soldered onto the object that's going to be decorated. Now, are the wires made of copper as well? Yes, they're made of the same base metal, most of the time copper. Mm -hmm. And... Um, they're all soldered on and everything's positioned at that point and that's going to okay. be the ending decoration. At this point, on the third, on the third example here, the cells have begun to be filled with, with uh, enamel. Okay. And every time it's filled with enamel and then fired, and every time the, the, the object is fired, it kind of, the enamel kind of shrinks. So wow. it takes, yes, it takes many, many coatings. At this point, they'll also kind of do some color variation, do mm -hmm. some color blending. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really a nice opportunity for design. Right. So it's fired, and then again, it's filled and fired, and in this fourth piece, you can see where it's getting kind of filled over the cloisonne cells yes. even. Mm -hmm. So at this point, we're, we're ready to begin the cleanup process and reveal the uh, cloisonne cells. So in the fifth part here, you can see to where the object has begun to be sanded down and uh, kind of ground down and polished a little bit mm -hmm. and to, to bring out the cloisonne cells again and bring out the flower shapes. Right. Here in this, in this piece, you can see to where the top has begun to be cleaned up. Well, you can see in the top here, uh, everything is sanded right. and finished. And then here in the last piece, it's ready for electroplating where all the edges of the cloisonne cells are mm -hmm. electroplated and it kind of brings out that nice vibrant gold That's color. Incredible. You'll also see silver. Now, does one person do each one of these steps? Generally not. In a production such as this or in a commercial like a bead, uh, different people will do it. The person that makes the shape will be one artisan. Right. The, this is the most important, the second piece where the, the shapes are created. Mm -hmm. So one person will be a, an expert in painting oh, and so that's forth. interesting. Mm -hmm. And how long would a process like this take? Oh, something like this vessel is very long, long time. Mm -hmm. Something like this vessel can take probably a day to three days for something this hmm. like this, something like the beads that you see. Yeah, can let's take, move on over to some of the things that you brought with us. Yeah. So, something like the simplest beads can take probably oh, three to five hours. Wow, that's incredible. If you want to just go through some of the items that we see here, I mean, they're just gorgeous. They are and now lovely. we have that appreciation for it, knowing what the process is. Yes, it, it's, one, it's kind of one of those underrated mm -hmm. things for all the handwork that goes on. The first, the little ladybugs are a bit of a different technique to where they're, it's not ground down. Uh, it's still the cloisonne technique, but it's a little bit different. On all the beads, you can see on the black one, the third piece there, uh, yeah, it's... This one done by the same process and mm -hmm. it, it creates wonderful three-dimensional pieces. Absolutely. Uh, the, the butterflies incorporate filigree, which is also, it's kind of a sister of the <laughs> cloisonne technique. That's and then we have our little fish friend. It's an articulating fish. And uh, they're made of all separate segments and then kind of attached mm -hmm. together so it moves. The colors are so incredibly vibrant. That's one of the they quality really items. In, mm -hmm. when, you, when you buy cloisonne, you want to see good vibrant color, good definition between the cells, and uh, just a nice quality and nice shape. Yeah. Well, here's some um, other pieces as well. The birds. Oh my goodness, they, look at those. They are adorable. This is, a, this is great for, for the three-dimensional. These are little uh, ornaments. They can be used at holiday times, either Easter or Christmas, or just something beautiful in your window. Mm -hmm. uh, the cloisonne bracelet is just a fun, frolicky thing. Uh, we, it was an, a little animal theme that, that uh, we like putting together. Yeah, the hand great. mirror is also, it incorporates, you can see that it leaves a lot more gold color out and just incorporates kind of a nuance of the cloisonne color. The eggs are, are, are just another fun item. They can use, be used at either holiday time. Uh, they're 
they are what they are. They're just a beautiful ornament. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine a nice little Easter basket filled with these beautiful eggs. Oh, that eggs. would be beautiful. Yeah. And of course the vase, that's a rather large piece. I can imagine how long that process takes. Yes, that can take up to a week of labor. The one crucial point on the vase is that you can see the, the, the nuance of color variation mm -hmm. that you can do, and that's because of the repeated coatings of the enamel color. Right, that's beautiful. And of course, you know, last but not least, I'm wearing this bracelet. <laughs> and you know how much we love jewelry. Absolutely. <laughs> and we although do. these other pieces are great, it just makes a lovely piece of jewelry as well. They are, they're favorite. very lovely, very popular. Doreen, I always learn so much every time you come here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much, Doreen. Well, Katie is up next with today's tip on illusion necklaces.